looks like there is a new open source king that beats every other open source model and on top of that it even outperforms Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4 Omni for coding based tasks and many other categories. Allow me to introduce DeepSeek version 3, a 671 billion parameter mixture of experts model that's trained on 14.8 trillion tokens while delivering 60 tokens per second. And this is with the multi-token prediction and it's a model that's reducing cost to 27 cents per million input tokens. You can currently access it as a base as well as an instruction to inversion model. But what's great is that we're starting to see more models released that are capable of even outperforming proprietary models. You can currently access the API as well as start chatting with this model on their chat interface. So you can easily get started and start using this version 3 model. Just to give you a good understanding of how well this model performs on various categories, take a look at this evaluation sheet which compares many open source models as well as Cloud 315, Sonnet, and GPT-4 Omni. You can see that the version 3 model is basically recording state of the art performance on various sorts of categories and even outperforming GPT-4 Omni and Cloud 315 Sonnet in areas like English as well as code generation. There's only two categories where it falls short in Sway Verified Bench as well as the Ader Edit. Now, in other categories like Live Code Bench as well as Human Eval, it is outpacing the other two models. So it's great to see that an open source model with these type of capabilities are able to put up a match with these proprietary models, which is just insane. Now, what we're going to be doing is having the chance to test this model on various categories. We're going to be assessing it in coding, mathematics, reasoning, and much more. So let's get started. We're going to first start off by having it create a fully functional finance tracker application. In this case, we're going to see what it's capable of generating in terms of the styling as well as how well it is in terms of generating the code. Now, one thing you will notice is that this model is insanely fast in terms of generating things. You can see how fast it was in generating the code and it was also able to do this three times faster than what it was capable of doing with the version 2.5 DeepSeek model. So I've started the server up and it had requested to create the following contents and this was the web app that was capable of generating. This is a financial dashboard in which you can visualize your current balance, the total income and expenses, and you can add certain types of expenses and incomes in these following categories and you're going to be able to see a visualization as well as your recent transactions so that is definitely a pass in my case next up we're going to be having it solve this mathematical equation this is where i'm asking it to solve the following problem where a tra train travels at 60 miles per hour for 2.5 hours then increases its speed to 75 miles per hour for the next 1.5 hours and essentially i'm having it uh, so that this equation is going to keep on adding on to make it more difficult and what it's essentially working on is it's assessing how well the model is in terms of solving mathematical equations as well as testing its ability to apply mathematical reasoning and after viewing the answer it first breaks down the answer in two segments and it provides the correct answer in terms of the total distance traveled which is 100 percent correct 247.5 miles and the fuel consumption which comes out to be 13.38 uh, gallons so this is definitely correct so let's give this a pass next up we're going to be having it generate an svg code for a simple butterfly shape now if you have been watching my videos on this channel you have noticed that this is probably one of the hardest things for a model to do in terms of uh, generating svg code graphics and basically generating the right segment of code for it and essentially what this is doing is that it's testing a model's ability to generate the svg code for vector graphics while being symmetrical so let's see if it's capable of generating this svg code so i've copied the code i'm going to now paste it into an svg viewer and look at that this does look like a butterfly in terms of the main body structure but the wings definitely do not uh, it does not look like a butterfly with the wings so uh, I would say I would give it a half point but for the sake of this video I'm going to give it a pass but obviously this does not 100% look like a butterfly so it's up to your own perspective I guess but in this case I'm just going to go ahead and give this a pass. 
But next up, we're going to have it design an algorithm. And this is to basically optimize a layout for a warehouse. And essentially, it's focusing on optimization and machine learning. I'm going to have it create an algorithm. So this is where I'm going to see if it's capable of uh, generating the demand forecasting models like time series analysis or regression, as well as focusing on clustering algorithms. So let's go ahead and see what this model is capable of doing. And it looks like it did a good job in focusing on five key criteria: the data collection processing, uh, it focused on demand forecasting and machine learning, focused on dynamic layouts, or focused on these algorithms in further detail. And it also implemented an integration plan as well as evaluation plan. So this is definitely correct, and I would deem this a pass on this a benchmark test. Now, next up, we're going to have it create the game of life. This is actually something that many models don't end up doing fully. So let's see if it's capable of generating a basic game of life game within our terminal. So I've copied the code into a Python file within VS Code, and we're going to see if this is functional. And it looks like the game of life is fully functional within our terminal. We have it generating this autonomous game of life. And essentially what this prompt is assessing is how well the model is in terms of logic implementation and the ability to create interactive terminal programs. So this is definitely deemed a pass within our benchmark test. Lastly, we're going to have it solve this mathematical equation. It, it's going to basically use logical reasoning and problem solving. And what we're trying to do is have it uh, solve this equation where we told it use a three gallon jug and a five gallon jug determine exactly four gallons of jugs of water gallons of water extend the challenge by adding a seven gallon jug and solving uh, for exactly five gallons of jug provide a step-by-step -step explanation for your approach and essentially we're going to see how well it is in terms of evaluating logical thinking as well as how well it is in terms of problem solving so there's two scenarios to this answer and both scenarios are actually correct. With the first solution for the scenario, it ends up with a five gallon jug containing exactly four gallons of water, which is completely correct. And for the second scenario, it ends up with a solution where it pours into a five gallon jug and it will be left with a seven gallon jug. And it's exactly six gallons of water within that seven gallons of jug, which is 100% correct. So both scenarios are definitely correct and it is definitely deemed a pass within our benchmark test. So you can see, you can obviously give this a fail. It truly depends on what your perspective is in terms of how you see that SVG code as a butterfly. But overall, it was capable of solving all of these prompts and it was successful in this evaluation benchmark test. But that is just great to see that this open source model is capable of doing quite impressively in various benchmarks i definitely recommend that you try this out i'll leave all the links in the description below it is definitely powerful in terms of coding based tasks so definitely would want to try this out if you are looking for an open source solution but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely recommend that you get started and try this out i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below follow me on the patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to get daily AI news as well here for free. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.